Welcome to our video from Auto Garage Life and today I'm going to show you how to change the cabin air filter on your S197 Mustang. This is a 2013 plate but the process is going to be pretty similar from a 05 to a 14. It might even apply to the S550s, I don't know, but it might apply to the SN95s because they're all pretty similar. But for this one, it's a five minute job and it's located right about here. And what I'm going to also show you is if you've got a leak coming in through your passenger footwell and you've got dampness underneath the carpet mat or you've got water coming in uh, underneath the glove box area, I'll show you potentially where that could be coming in from and what to do about it to stop it because it's in the same location as where the cabin air filter is. So when you're doing this job for the cabin air filter, this is what to do to check to make sure you avoid any water coming in and ruining your day, ruining your car, ruining your life. Very easy to do and it will take you about five minutes. So let's crack on with that. Oh, by the way, hit like, hit subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. Pretending that I know how the YouTube algorithm works. Thank you. All right, so I got this filter off of AutoDoc using their app. You can get it via the registration number or if you know the sizes of it, you can get the size of it and get the equivalent filter. So, okay, so they're really simple. It's just a standard kind of air filter paper element filter you get the ones with the charcoal and the carbon all that i don't know if they do any good or not but it tells you what way on this the air flows to go so this one will go in that way to the car with the bumper here and me here breathing in the fresh depollinated air it is better for my lungs and cardiovascular system yes all right so the first thing you need to do when you're doing this job is to pop the hood or the bonnet if you're in the UK and I'll bring you around and show you this closer and one thing I recommend you do the key in the ignition turn on the accessories turn on your wipers and when they're up in the upright position pointing straight up you turn your key off like so that was pretty hard to do with one hand, but anyway, you'll see why in a wee second. Oh, be quiet, stop the bonging. There. And today's toolkit consists of a pry tool, and you'll see why, and a star screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, That's and a hand, preferably two if you've got them. The cabin filter is located under the passenger side cowl cover. You need to remove these two screws here. And what I tend to find with these is, there are screws in this one, and they'll screw in, but you tend to find that you'll unscrew them and almost nothing will happen. You almost have to try and get in there with the pry tool to pry this up a little bit and then pop the screw out. Because once these things get screwed in, they don't really always come out the way you would expect. So I'll pop them out. This one here, i just do what I'm trying to show you. Hey, yeah, see that? You can either use your pry tool to pop that up and come out and then that will just come out no problem now. I'm not going to say these are one use only, but they never quite unscrew the way you would expect. Anyway, so let's get this one out and then we'll remove the kill cover. Okay, that's them both out. And that is literally all that's holding this in. There's about four kind of slotted clips in the back there. But once you've got the two little pins out, you'll be able to remove this quite straightforward. More difficult with one hand, of course. And now you can see the pins there. See them? And that is literally all that's holding this cover in. And I think I've just cut my hand. Anyway. And you can wiggle this out like so and that will leave you the area that you need to get into for the cabin filter itself all right so there's the cabin filter and it comes out with that plastic housing and all it's really held in by is two clips here at the top so you push them out from behind and out comes the filter right how you're in here how you've got this out you see this void here between where you sit or your passenger sits in the engine, water collects in here. I'll show you down there, right? You see that rubber grommet? Sometimes you might find you've got a pool of water in here. 
suggest you get a pair of needle nose pliers, long nose, grab that little grommet, pull it out, and give the whole thing a good clean. Make sure that grommet's got nothing stuck in it, like leaves or dirt or grime or anything like that. Because when this floods, the only one way for the water to go, and it's through there, into your cabin. So if you've got a wet passenger footwell, check this area first, because chances are it'll have filled up from here, filled up right above the level of the cabin filter and soaked in through there and wet your passenger footwell. So have a look for that and clean this out. You can see mine's bone dry because I've been in here already, making sure nothing's there, but leaves and all that rubbish gets trapped in there. So give that a go, a clean out whilst you're here. Okay, this is your old one. And it comes out of this plastic housing here. Okay, so just pop it out the back there. And as you can see, this old one is pretty much past it. It's pretty disgusting. And quite simply, pop the new one in. And this is just a, a housing for it with a couple of slats. So the new one just kind of slides in there. Paying attention, of course, to the directional arrow on the filter, showing what way the airflow is going from front to back. And in you pop. Ah. There we are. Original, probably about 10 years old. Brand new. And you just pop it back in and you can see how this fits. It's just a cartridge filter that's got the two little slots that go in and you clip it on with this bit at the top and that's your job done. Let's go and put it back in. That's it. You just pop this cowl cover back on. Make sure that's in there. Little notch in the end underneath the hood. And make sure that the four is it four or three? I can't remember. It's four. Four little clips go in nice and neat. You can feel them popping in. That's it. Be a good idea to have a couple of these sitting spare in case you break them because they're just plastic after all. If they've never been out of the car, chances are they'll be mangled like this one or break. This one's actually okay to reuse. Screw them back in, no problem. Guess what? Job done. How long did that take me? Hmm, that'll be a hundred dollars at the dealer, please. Then we check for check engine lights. I'm only joking. You stick your windscreen wipers back down. Ooh. Check out my other video for that, by the way. That is a really good system, good unit. I'll link it in the description and in the cards, but if you want to upgrade your system to a new sound system, this is pretty good. The Ag Mama, or whatever you call it, interface. So there we have it. One cabin filter, reinstalled. Five minute job, very, very easy. It's something that's often overlooked. If you take it to somewhere for a service, they don't usually include something like that. But uh, worth doing because now, ah, when you're in the car, you can breathe easy, knowing that you're not breathing in the rubbish from the outside, even though I'm driving a convertible. Superb. Okay, catch you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.